Greetings from the St. John's Medical College Alumni Association. My name is Anthony Robert Charles, an alumnus of the batch of 1987, currently serving on the executive committee of the Alumni Association as the president. And I'm blessed to have an extremely committed committee along with me. The reason for the double adjective is because at our very first meeting when we were questioning each other as to why we were taking on an additional two year workload, I think the common thread which came out for us was that there's still a lot of uh, fire left in the belly to give back to the Johnite community at large and to the association in particular. And that's why we are here. That's also the reason for this uh, video. I want to put out there the goals and objectives which we have, and I'll break it up into smaller uh, six monthly goals which we have. And one of the reasons we're putting it out there is to A, motivate us and keep us on, on, on our toes, and two, that we may be held to account, that we should be held to account at the end of our term for the things that we planned out and as to how far that we've achieved them. I think that is what I want to do primarily. Therefore, to keep it short, I'm going to only spell out three initiative and one piece of uh, really good news, which I'll share at the end. The first objective uh, which we want to work on is, uh, as we know that there are a lot of Johnites in the, in, the, in the Americas and the United Kingdom and the rest of the world who are actively helping out over the last uh, 10 years. I know that uh, the early career Johnite initiative, Dr. Brian Martis and quite a few other Johnites, uh, too many to name here, who have uh, helped out and are still helping out, not just with guidance, but with actual practical assistance, getting them observerships or, or putting them up in their own houses. And, uh, uh, so that is something which the UK has also been doing for some time and recently there's been again a push. What I want to do is that I've realized that the vast majority of Johnites, of young Johnites, still do work and look out for opportunities within India as well and in the other countries which are not so well represented. So I want to create what we want to call the Johnite Career Network, which will be an umbrella organization where under all, all the initiatives which are running right now overseas will continue. But we want to keep it as a one point uh, network like most universities have for their uh, students wherein we will have mentors across the world, across specialties, and across batches, and across career paths, whether they are institutional people who are working in medical colleges or big uh, centers, or those who are working in the, in the rural sector, or those who are working in private practice who also still need a little bit of guidance, uh, not just at getting a job, but in, in, the, in the running of it and at our uh, moments. And I think to strengthen this, we are going to reach out to each one of you over the next three months and we'll form this uh, database. All communication will be by email between mentors and mentees. And once it clicks, it may go forward. The other motivation for doing it this way is that currently the ones who are getting help are the ones who are probably well connected or better connected and who have great initiative to, to reach out, which is a great thing. But there's still a, a large cluster of Johnites who are not in that mold, who are, who are hesitant, who are not well connected and who just take whatever comes there. I think that guy, that sector we want to reach out to. And the way to do that, I, was, I realized I'm going to work closely with Dr. John Tarakan. I think some of you will know him. Uh, he, uh, he's into education uh, across colleges, a Johnite. So what we want to do is maybe set up a, a, a formal system wherein uh, right from the fourth year, we will have our preachers in the classes for them, guide them towards this and show them what is available and also build in a very strong culture of giving back. And, and I think a lot of Johnites who are already uh, taken help have already started helping the next generation. That is the goodwill that we want to continue. So the Johnite Career Network, it's going to take some doing, and but, but I'm absolutely sure me and my team will, will get past this. The second point I want to go to quickly is uh, the initiatives of the Alumni Association, which have been quite strong in the last few terms uh, with the uh, Dr. Reggie and Bobby and Praveen Rodriguez and Dr. Maya Vasquez, all four of them have put together. So the scholarships has been one uh, focus area. We will continue to build on it. And a recent chat with our dean, Dr. George, uh, we realized that it's still just a drop in the in the ocean. And, uh, it's helping uh, too few students. So we we'll probably have to rethink, apart from increasing the number, as to how else we can optimize it. And so that scholarships is going to remain one of the focus areas which will continue. The second one is our uh, rural outreach. While our rural outreach got very, very crystallized during the COVID period, during the pandemic, when, when as alumni uh, association, we could reach out 
to many many centers for the first time providing them stuff when their crisis are but it's opened us an, an avenue wherein i think we can continue to increase this engagement the way i see it practically is if, if we choose five centers in one year five centers and we've sent out a, a needs uh, appeal to most of these centers these are manned either by our sister doctors or there are many lay journalists non non religious who are working alone or in small groups and impacting lives in a very vulnerable situation so we we reaching out to them we'll get back their responses and to, for a start as a small start i hope it becomes more let's 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 uh, identify let's say five centers which which have definite needs they have needs in terms of training maybe or maybe in terms of uh, equipment maybe in terms of 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 a lab or a, or a award which can be named after the donor or the equipment which can be named after a donor and these will be much smaller donations so it's much more easier to get a larger pool of donors to come in and uh, what the alumni association will assure you is that a that these needs will be genuine to you will have a direct connect with the center with the, with the people who are running the center the actual people there we will have connect we will have at least one member of the committee who will audit this once a year who will go there and most importantly you as a journalist will see what your money is doing in a very transparent fashion in in a center where it's uh, really needed and that is something that i have to to make this easier i have to thank the last two presidents uh, uh, sparo and uh, dr maya and of course tony the previous treasurer because they have put in place the mechanisms for for making the process of, uh, of 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 giving aid to from the overseas and from the indian system uh, much easier this is all about not about funds though a lot of this uh, reach out to some of the journalists working in the far flung have said is that there no one's talking to us no one's connecting with us from 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 and that is something that i think we can actively change we're going to have a series of which brings me to my third point a series of uh, journalist connects and uh, connects across the country the connect in america is happening right now i'll come to that in a minute and the uk has their own connects but i think connects across smaller zones of 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 the country and also connects to these uh, centers whether it is virtual whether it is real but to get them connected and feel wanted towards this regard my vice president of the priya prayas and uh, my dynamic uh, secretary binu and uh, kiran and of course prithvi who most of us know they are going to be reaching out to you over the next 3 months to try in batches of 5 we're going to reach out to you either by mail or by virtual and uh, we've got a social media handle now you will see the details of it wherein we want not to talk we want to listen we want to hear what what the older journalists and the fresh journalists and the mid generation what 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 they think about what the alumni should be doing what their pet concerns are what their pet peeves are i have already heard quite a few interesting ones so would love to tell you that in person some day but we want to do this connect and use this connect to strengthen the bonds among us journalists which which will last even for the next 60 years and 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 propel the alumni association to the to the next level which now brings me down to the little piece of good news that i have my very first meeting uh, with the director for the paul uh, our long standing uh, demand for having uh, a unique id card of the alumni with with a picture and a, a qr code and a unique id for each alumni which should be given to every registered alumni who registers on the website this will go a long way a it's an identity thing which we which we hold dear and most importantly it helps us to walk into campus whether you're visiting from overseas or visiting from madiwala to enter the gate the, the good old security man is doing his job and which makes a lot of us uncomfortable whether it was uh, it used to be the faculty before who used to complain and they got their id card but this is for every alumnus who is there so if whenever you do come down and, and if you need help and this is at least one thing that we want to get out and we are very proud of it and we are working towards getting when you register on it we'll also get you a unique email id linked to the alumni association which is the official email id and if those who want to use it can then use it into the future right so now comes to the fun part i am really uh, really really thrilled that that the american 40th reunion is there the number of friends i was uh, i was watching their pictures today on the on the group and i would have loved to be there but for the vagaries of a uh, visa office but uh, i i understand the joy and uh, we are looking forward to hosting all of you at next year's uh, diamond jubilee of the college which dr maya and dr ranga are working 
along uh, with the whole lot of uh, so the team to try and make it happen. So good to see all of you having a good time, but do come here next year and the Johnite reunion as well, I'm sure promises next year to be a, a fun event. So to see most of you. I think this is what makes us Johnites. We, we are able to, to have issues which are close to our heart and we are still able to have fun and we are able to bond. And so that is what uh, a, a, a body of brothers, a body of sisters, which is the Johnite community will do. Thank you for, for listening to me. Uh, wish us well and most importantly, communicate with us, talk to us, throw whatever you have at us. The links to our email, the links to our social media. We've opened up social media handles for the Alumni Association are on a message after this and the sample of the ID card also will be there after this. Thanks to Prudvi who handles that side of it. Thank you very, very, very much. Have, 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 have a great year ahead and you will see me in about six months with our next video. Thank you.